have to write a story so that's encouraging them to write, you know, and to, to, oh, to make something. Thank you. People, um, more or less, has, they, when you sell your work, people want to see it before they buy it, of course. Is that your typical sell, or do you have people just call you up and give you a concept of what they're looking for and show well, shoot them some photographs? Or? Well, if they tell me what they're interested in, I'll tell them to go to my website and have different series. Mm -hmm. But um, 
like for a commission. I have to work with you. Yeah. So then, like, this is a commission for Felicia Rashad when she was here doing Gem of the Ocean. I've been working on this one for about a year. But I don't do a lot of commissions because they take a lot of time. Mm -hmm. But um, other work, most collectors are familiar with my work or they've seen it. And if they've only seen it on either TV or on my website, I'll invite them to the studio because you're not going to really see what the real deal is until you see the work up close. That's for my museum show, but I have other paintings and works on paper that I do. But the small ones generally are around three to four hundred dollars. The larger pieces, the mixed media collages, range anywhere between four thousand and fifteen thousand. Any other media formats such as uh, open edition poster or limited edition, or? Yeah, actually, after my museum show, I'm going to be doing that. Um, doing some limited edition. I think you'll have much, much, much success. Yeah, you can see better. Like, the great thing about these is I love to put them like on pedestals where the sunlight is coming in because that's what's going on inside of these. Well, let me think about this. Tell me what you want for that. These go for two thousand dollars. Yeah, house. Okay, so you know I'm not going there. Right. <laughs> not on a teacher's salary. You know, eight right time probably would be more like fifty bucks. Oh, uh, look at it for a minute before let yeah. <laughs> look at it. I did okay. look at it. Look. And uh, I was thinking, well, do you you've seen checks that you are thinking about or? Well, my grandfather's from Macon. My grandmother's from um, Cayo Eso in um, Cuba. Okay. Um, and I grew up in Jersey, but also in Florida. And, you know, a lot of my friends in Cairo, Georgia, you know, just the, the northern Florida, southern Georgia, there's a lot of kind of shacks there. And yes, also it is. Absolutely. And outside Without rule, North, North Carolina. Right, outside of New Orleans, I would hang out there during the summer. So that was always kind of there. I see. For me. Yeah. Um, but then also my grandmother talking about how in different villages, you know, the tin would fly off and your neighbor and you would help you get it and you put it back on. And just those things were just kind of in there. Yeah. And when I started doing collage and kind of building off more and more off the canvas and adding more wood, then I started making, and I'll start looking into doing some additions with the frame. Would you want to do it? Yeah. Okay, and I'm, I'm still talking about three. So what was the third one? So I start, you know, doing all the little detail work and then putting things and how they lean. And the hard thing about the shacks is, other than the, the stone work, all of it is really getting them sticking into grooves so there's no nails or anything. It's really just getting them tight and then using um, and then collaging. Uh, images and newspaper articles from the time period that I'm thinking about and that's actually what's holding it together. So I want them that, that tension. Yeah, yeah. Huntington Theater. I say something that's supposed to be, that's relevant so I need people to see it. So really going into museums um, and touring around the world is what I want the work to do. So, museum, uh, Afro American artist, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, it's going to be there in March for three months. March 2006? Yep. Okay. So, and then it's going to tour. Uh, the shacks, um, that piece, I've had so many people ask me for that piece, and I have like eight more in the series. So, we love the kids who come and do your valuable piece there. And, and like something like that, I would do a print.